What's up guys? So today I would like to talk about what's going on with my car. Um, this is going to be just an update video. Um, in my previous video, I talked about losing a center cap, which is not a big deal. I mean, yeah, it's not a big deal. And a broken windshield, which is pretty a big deal because I would have to replace it. I would have to replace the whole windshield. There's no way of me repairing that. But I failed to mention that at the time of that video, my brakes were actually dying. Like, that's why I had so much pressure because I would have to fix my car to get it running again. Um, my brakes were were done. Like I have about 10 to 15 percent um, left for the pads, brake pads, especially the rear, because my car is rear wheel, not rear wheel. I guess it's rear wheel biased, and also for the brakes, it just like the rear brakes were done. Like it was done. It was almost metal to metal. And my rotors for the fronts, I think it was kind of like, um, it was grooved and to a point where it's just shaking. Like my steering wheel is shaking whenever I brake. So like that's a big deal, right? Like I would have to fix that. So I'm going to show you exactly the new rotors and the new brakes. And if you're wondering, um, before I left this room, this is my pride and joy when I was younger. I've always liked to build things. So this is, I built this for about, I guess, two, three years. It took me that long. Cause you know, like parts for bikes, they, you know, this is just complicated. It's not as complicated as cars, but it's pretty complicated. And the sun went down when I was in the room. So that's why the house is pretty dark, but I'm gonna show you what's going on with the car. Kind of chilly in here but all right so that is a new set of rotors and i'm gonna prove you that they are new because i still have the uh coatings the gray coatings on it and then i could you know touch this and there's no like there's nothing it's just flat there's no groove um and right here this is flat usually if you like if your rotors are pretty much used you can feel that this part it's kind of it's raised and then this part is just like you know it kind of goes all the way down um yeah so i got new rotors and then i can't really show you new pads everything new um <coughs> the rears as well so yeah that is a new set of um it's not, it's focusing on the wheels, but it's, yeah, it's the same thing. Pretty much uh, brand new, everything's brand new. You can see the rotors are just still pretty smooth. And new pads as well, because, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna kind of like do it half, half, like getting just new rotors or like just getting like, new pads and not fixing fixing the rest of the stuff that's going on with my car because you know it's just there's no point like i would probably pay more labor all right so i'm back in this room just because it's pretty cold in the garage and i'm not gonna bother to stand around there because i'm only wearing a t-shirt but yeah that is pretty much all the crap that i have to deal with you know like it's like this car has been really good to me like so far i know i know the brakes brakes is, are dying since like a week ago i could feel everything that's going on with the brakes like i drive it daily so like when i start feeling that the steering wheel was shaking it was it was kind of you know devastating but yeah um one thing that i noticed um Never use spacers because I feel like the reason why the rotors are so messed up is because of the spacers. I used to have spacers on my winter setup and my previous summer setup when I had the Vossens, I had um, spacers on it as well. I think it was 10 millimeter spacers on the front and then 15 on the rear or it was like 15 on the front and 20 on the rear. It was crazy it was like crazy stats of spacers right it was uneven um it's because of the wrong offset on the ribs and i was just you know like it's 
I, I just wanted to make it happen. And I talked to the shop that got me new rotors and got me um, new pads. And I explained to him what's going on because he told me that there's a C300 that came in his shop and it has 70,000 kilometers and I'm nowhere close to 70,000 kilometers and it wasn't shaking it's just it's the rotors are just done and pads are done but mine the rotors were so messed up it was shaking like crazy and I'm like what's going on so when I realized that it's probably because of the spacers because the spacers itself it no matter uh, whether it is hub centric or not it does actually make your steering wheel shakes and like your car shakes like pretty much you can feel it so spacers is a no-go like don't do spacers that's my opinion never do spacers because in the end of the day it's not just about the spacers itself you know it's not about just um the problem from the spacers actually you know making your car shake and then if you remove it okay you know no big deal nothing happened but actually it does affect your rotors i mean if you think about it if it does shake the rotors kind of because like this the the if the spacer actually shakes your car and shakes your steering wheel it's at that area that it shakes so i mean imagine your rotors must have shake too so like i so i i don't know how to explain this but like it does make sense to me and never in my life again i would ever use spacers because now i have to like fix you know replace rotors and at such an early time it's not too early but i could have maybe just replaced pads but i have to replace rotors as well um i'm not i'm not sure what was the cause for um like a shaking rotors but i blame it on the spacers because i did actually use like a bunch of weird spacers i was exposed to you know this spacers thing and then when i got my summer um set up last year um i started you know thinking like oh i could do this even though it has the wrong offset i can get spacers and yada yada so i'm like okay i got like 15 millimeter spacers 20 millimeter spacers 10 millimeter spacers and then i was just putting it all in my car um when i had the boston's like it looked really nice like in my opinion it looked like the car looks really nice but because of the spacers it actually starts like killing my rotors and then not too long ago before i had the Vorsteiners, um my boston's popped like it's just not not, not the boston's but like the tires like it's it popped in the highway like i was driving on the highway and then it popped and like it was crazy i thought like at some point like i was like shoot i have like a flat tire and the next thing i know it was just like um it's it's gone like i looked at it and like the tires pretty much detached itself from the wheels and i'm just like what is going on so because of that um i was pretty frustrated and I sold the Boston's right away. I'm like, no, I don't want this wheels anymore because it has spacers, wrong offset. I had to, like, I, I was just like, I was going crazy. Like, I, I didn't want it. So what I did was I got a new set of more centers with Michelin PS4S and like all that good stuff. And it has like my Vore Center right now, it has the perfect offset. It was plus 45 and 46 on the rears, I think um but it was 19 by eight and a half and i think 19 by nine and a half on the rear and my boston's did actually have like a better um a better like size because it was t um, 19 by nine and then 19 by 10 or 10 and a half on the rear like it was crazy i was fitting 285 30 19s for the tires like it was it was insane like it was the best thing that i've ever done to my car pretty much until i realized that you know it's not even worth it so i got vorsteiners i'm way like happier with the vorsteiners than the boston's that i had because i had those cbt's and like you see cbt's everywhere now like literally on every car so when i got the vorsteiners like it's the right offset no spacers nothing and as you can see in the video before um the Vorsteiner literally sits on um, the hub right away so it's not like there's no spacers in between and 
And yeah, I guess uh, in my opinion, never go for spacers just because it's eventually going to cure, kill your car anyways because you can feel the vibration. Like you can, I feel the vibration after going 120, more than 120 kilometers. And once I hit 130 kilometers, it's just crazy. Like I feel like I cannot control my car and I, it's retarded. So yeah, no spacers and I could say this just because really I, no guys, no. Going through all that pain, you know, having to change the rotors that soon and um, having to, you know, go through all the crap that I'm going through because of that spacers, it's, it's just not worth it, honestly. It's really not worth it. So yeah guys, this is the video for today and I hope you do actually enjoy my update video. This is nothing fancy. Um, but yeah, I just want to update you guys what's going on with my car and all the crap that I have to go through within like a week. I still have to fix my windshield. I'm still kind of, you know, I just don't want to go through insurance and all that stuff. I mean, I'm going through insurance, but I still want to deal with that right now because I mean, there's a lot of things to deal with with my car. And I have like another thing that I didn't mention that I forgot to mention. I actually... Like there's something wrong with the ball joints on my left driver front um, wheel. There's like, there's something wrong. It's just like making squeaky noises, but it's not that much of a big deal. I just have to replace like a new um, ball joints, whatever it is. Like the guy told me in the shop when he, he got me new brakes, he's like, oh, it's not a big deal. I'm like, okay, it's not a big deal. We'll deal with that later. I'm gonna deal with the windshield first. But yeah, guys, this is it. This is the video, and I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for watching. And if you do like this video, um, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like my bike, give give it a thumbs up. This is this is a really good bike, and um, cost me a lot of money when I was young. And I keep it just to remind myself how far I've gone. You know, I saved money when I was young just to get it. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.